Alternate tunings lend themselves to certain genre styles and can open up a whole new world of guitar playing. When we tune to open G, we're changing the intervallic distance between the strings that we're normally used to. This in turn changes our fretboard landscape, meaning that it will alter the chord shapes that we're familiar with and it'll open up tons of possibilities to find some unique sounds. Here's how it's helpful. We can play one finger major chords across the fretboard. You can take some familiar chord shapes that now become interesting chord voicings. Like take a C chord shape for a second. Strum through that. It's really different than what you're used to hearing. Maybe go to an A chord. And it really lends itself to some finger style playing with open strings. Open G tuning, like the name implies, means that all of the strings are tuned to the notes of a G major chord. So if you strum all of the open strings, it will produce a G major chord. So let's look at open G tuning from low to high. We have D, G, D, G, then B and D. That means we're tuning down the low E, the high E, and the A string by a whole step. So let's go ahead and use the Fender Tune app. Beginning with our low E string, we're gonna bring that down a whole step to D. Now as you're getting closer to the right pitch, make sure that you tune up into it, that way it's gonna lock. Great, we're in tune. Next up we have the high E string, we'll bring that down a whole step to D as well. And with the final touch we'll bring it up a little bit. Now that's in tune. Finally, we have the A string. We'll bring that all the way down to G. And we're in tune. You can also use your ear to tune from standard tuning to open G tuning. Let's go ahead and get rid of the app for a quick second. And we're gonna begin by plucking our low E string and the D string, our fourth string, together. So this D string gives you a reference pitch because what we're really gonna do is bring the low E string down a whole step until it matches the sound of the D string an octave lower. And now we're in tune. Next, we're gonna pluck the high E string and that D string again together and tune the high E string down a whole step until it matches the sound of the D string an octave higher. Now your high E string is a high D string. Finally, we'll pluck the A string and the G string together. The A string is in your fifth string and the G string is in your third string. And we're just gonna tune the A string down a whole step as well until it matches the sound of the G string an octave lower. And now your A is tuned to a G. So let's try playing some familiar chord shapes across the neck of the guitar and see what they sound like. Let's start with an A minor chord shape in this tuning. Let's break that chord in for a little bit. You can add some syncopation to it if you want. Maybe just bring that shape up two frets. So two frets higher, it's a really cool chord progression. It's going back and forth. Maybe even take a, you know, a D chord shape with those three fingers to the fretboard. See what that sounds like. Do simple strums, really cool and meditative. Maybe bring it up a whole step again. And just go back and forth and make a progression out of it. Try experimenting a bit, and maybe you'll come across some cool and interesting sounds. Don't worry about what the proper chord name should be yet, just let your ear be your guide. Here are some songs and artists that use open G tuning. You've got Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones, Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones, Little Green by Joni Mitchell, and Twice As Hard by the Black Crows. Now that you've got your guitar tuned to open G, start riffing and experimenting. Have fun with this, and we'll see you for more next time. Just watched a preview of Fender Play's alternate tuning collection. Click the link to learn more tunings, then put your skills to use by learning to play the songs you love.
The Fender Play app offers a completely customizable learning experience for anyone who wants to learn to play guitar, bass, or ukulele. And you can track your progress while you learn to play using over 3,000 lessons and innovative practice features like our chord challenge, backing tracks, and weekly gear giveaways. Click the link to sign up for your free trial of Fender Play today. No credit card required.